I'm Christopher Sherio, the Artistic Director at the Public Theater, and welcome to the final episode in our video series where we visit with some actors from past productions of A Christmas Carol. Our version of the script starts with a child from today's world finding a copy of A Christmas Carol in their book bag. And as they begin reading, the characters start coming to life, and the child gets so caught up in the world that they enter the story and become Tiny Tim. Over the years, we've had 12 different children, both boys and girls, ages 8 to 13, playing Tiny Tim. Our rule has always been that once you start looking like Medium Tim, it's time for you to be replaced. We thought it would be fun to take a trip down memory lane and track down some of our Tiny Tims to see how they've grown up. Hi, I'm Kelsey. Uh, I did the show in 2001-2002. Um, I'm 30. Uh, Jonathan? Uh, I'm Jonathan Bradshaw, and uh, I did A Christmas Carol back in 1994. Um, and uh, I, uh, I'm, yeah, that is it. That's it. So great to see everyone. Christian Keith. I did. I did Tiny Tim in 2017 and 2018. Maddie Leslie. Hi, I'm Maddie Leslie. Um, I'm a junior in college. I did Christmas Carol. I honestly can't remember what years I did it. 2009, <laughs> 11, and 12. 2009, 11, and 12. There we go. <laughs> I'm Charlie, and I played Tiny Tim in 2018 and 2019. Hi, I'm Andy. I'm 18 years old, and I did Christmas Carol in 2015, I think. Hi, I'm Emily Sherio. I was Tiny Tim from 2004 to 2008, so between the ages of eight and 12, and I'm 24 now. I'm Allison Trainer. I did A Christmas Carol, I believe it was in 1998 and 1999. 99-2000. Ah, 99-2000, okay. <laughs> and I'm 34 now. Whoa, Allison, how'd that happen? Okay. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> that is so awesome. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> To, to see all of you guys, I mean, you're all so grown up because when you all began, you were Charlie's size. <laughs> and look, look at, yeah, some of you were littler. Yeah. And uh, Jonathan, God, what are you? 57, 69? What are you? Not yet. Not yet. 39. I'm 39. I think my most memorable part was the first show that I did the first time walking out and the lights coming on and me just delivering that first little piece there. I think my most memorable moment was during one of the talk backs uh, with one of the classes. One of the students asked if I was uh, single <laughs> and I just was mortified and I buried my head in your shoulder. And 20 years later, I could really use your shoulder right now, Chris. <laughs> um, one of my most memorable moments was probably when we would go out um, at intermission and we would sign the little bells. Me and JT, that was my one of my favorite memories. Oh, a lot of favorite memories. Um, but I think primary, it was A, it was the first time I'd ever done a professional show. So that really stuck with me a lot. And it was the first time I got to perform with my father, um, oh. which was uh, amazing. And it's something I still think about a lot. I remember my first year as Tiny Tim and my entire class came to see me in the show for a student matinee, which was really fun. And I felt very cool. <laughs> I can relate to that. <laughs> Felt like a celebrity. <laughs> For me, my most memorable um, experience was probably the day that my school, my class came to visit a matinee show. And I remember after the show, I went back to school because it was during exam week. And I felt really cool coming up there with my lunch. And they had all just seen me, so that was very fun. So I think one of my most memorable moments was also one of the talkbacks. Um, it was actually every talk back. Everybody always wanted to know what was in the book. I don't know if any of you had that, but um, and I remember that I specifically asked you, Chris, if the book could not be in English because I would I was worried that I would start actually reading it and forget <laughs> to come in on time. I don't know if anybody else had that experience. Well, actually, after you, we put the actual script inside the book, so that way, if the kid got lost, the script was right there. 
Y'all got lucky. You had that French book. Mm-hmm. It's a French fairy tale book. <laughs> we took the, fi- the 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 pages out of it and put the, and glued the script in. And we also thought it would be fun to ask them to recreate the monologue that they once did to start the show. It starts old Marley was dead to begin with, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Just check it. And remember my direction pounding into your heads all those years. It's a ghost story. Marley was dead to begin with. There was no doubt whatever about that. The register of his burial was signed by the clergyman, the clerk, the undertaker, and the chief mourner. Scrooge signed it. And Scrooge's name was good change for anything he chose to put his hand to. Old Marley was as dead as a doornail. I forgot the rest. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, there's the role of Scrooge. We've had seven amazing actors play Scrooge. Three of them have been Broadway veterans, and they've all brought something wonderful and different to this famous role. Oh, but he was a tight-fisted hand at the grindstone, Scrooge. A squeezing, wrenching, grasping, scraping, clutching, covetous old sinner. Hard and sharp as flint, from which no steel had ever struck out a generous fire. Secret and self-contained and solitary as an old oyster. The cold within him froze his own features, nipped his pointed nose, shriveled his cheek, stiffened his gait, made his eyes red and his thin lips blue, and spoke out shrewdly in his grating voice. He carried his own temperature always about with him. He iced his office on the dog days and didn't thaw it one degree at Christmas. My favorite time of year is directing a Christmas carol. It never fails to get me into the holiday spirit and I can't wait to share it with you again next year. But until then, we've put together a video of another famous holiday story for you to enjoy. Compliments of all of our Christmases past. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, and God bless us, everyone. God God bless bless us, us, everyone. everyone.